when you read the Bible, do you have understanding? Do you have the skills to interpret the Bible? Can you apply the Bible correctly to your daily life? The Bible is God's word, but not everyone that reads the Bible understands. The Bible is God's manual for living. The Bible is profitable living. The Bible is a book of sources. Acts chapter 8, 31. Philip asked Ethiopian, you know, do you understand what you are reading? He replied, how can I? Unless someone guides me, all you need to do is to search Peace Chapel Facebook Live. You can have the skills and proper interpretation and understanding to catapult your life to the next level. Peace Online Bible School is here to make you fall deeply in love with the Word of God. Join us this and every Monday and Thursday at 7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. And you will be equipped for glory. Peace. Shalom. Moving in a mist When you read the Bible, do you have understanding? Do you have the skills to interpret the Amazing Web Ebenezer! Ebenezer! The God you serve is a rewarder and a recorder. Revelation 22 12. In this world, anything can happen to somebody. Therefore, if you are standing, be careful. Don't mind your mockers. Mind your God. Make Jesus your source. Don't make decisions without Him. Believe in God. If you don't keep your hope alive, you can never develop your faith. Yeah. Anybody who use any charm or witch doctor against you and your family, See. back to the sender. Amazing word with Bishop Bright Michael Adolfo this and every Sunday at 5.30 a.m. to 6 a.m. on UTV. Locate UTV Peace Chapel International at the Yamiche Junction, Okra, opposite Motorway Mother Care. Peace Chapel with International, so our Father's House. Peace. Joy. Shalom. Amazing web. Amazing web. Ebenezer! Ebenezer! The God you serve is a rewarder and a recorder. Revelation 22 12. In this world, anything can happen to somebody. Therefore, if you are standing, be careful. Don't mind your mockers. Mind your God. Make Jesus your source. Don't make decisions without Him. Believe in God. If you don't keep your hope alive, you can never develop your faith. Yeah. Anybody who use any charm or witch doctor against you and your family, back to the sender. Amazing word with Bishop Bright Michael Adolfo this and every Sunday at 5.30 a.m. to 6 a.m. on UTV. Locate Peace Chapel International at the Yamiche Junction, Okra, opposite Motorway Mother Care. Peace Chapel With International, so our Father's peace House. Peace. Joy. Shalom. Amazing Web. Amazing Web. Ebenezer! Ebenezer! The God you serve is a rewarder. And a recorder. Revelation 22 12. In this world, anything can happen to somebody. Therefore, if you are standing, be careful. Don't mind your mockers. Mind your God. Make Jesus your source. Don't make decisions without Him. Believe in God. If you don't keep your hope alive, you can never develop your faith. Yeah. Anybody who use. Good evening. I bring you warm greetings from the premises of our father's house peace chapel international opposite the motorway mother care abekala pass nyameche so today we promise to give you something very powerful and interesting we assure you of the unadulterated word of god that is going to be made practical in your lives today we are going to have a special time of teaching with our lecturer who has taught many church leaders, who has been a blessing to this generation. He's in a person of Bishop Bright Michael Adolfo. Since as a school, we encourage you to ask questions. Kindly like the page, create a watch party, and invite a friend so that we'll all benefit from this blessing in our generation. God bless you. God bless you too. Amen. Amen.
angel. So tonight, Jesus, have your way. He bless you that you have never changed. Unchangeable changer. Your name is Jesus Christ. If the King Stephen face became an angel by preaching Christ, then by your grace as a pastor, let my faith be like Jesus Christ. And bless all my online viewers and let us grow in grace. My aim is that all of us who know the truth and we walk in the truth so that as we live in it, we can have understanding to make impact in our generation and to bless our generation, our generation unborn. Are you ready to do it? Yes, Amen. All right. Uh, last Monday, we thank God for a cool happy. Hey. My, my daughter and Alessia, my brother from Belgium. You're already here. Thank you. Last Monday, uh, somebody asked me a question about Ananias. And I promise you, I'm going to uh, give you answer. So we are beginning today, though, we want to tackle Acts 9, 36 to 43, about uh, how Peter witnessed at Joppa by bringing uh, Dorcas back to life through Christ. But before we do that, and then we also enter to Acts chapter 10, about Peter and the message he preached about Christ Jesus. But before I do that, let's deal with Ananias. As uh, LP Constant just said, this is a school. So please, you can ask a question. And if I know, if I have information, I can answer you. The ones I don't know, because I don't know everything. I know little. But the ones I don't know, then I'll go and research. So uh, last Monday, somebody asked me the difference between Ananias in chapter 5 of the book of Acts. And then Ananias in chapter 9. And then another Ananias in chapter 23. We have three categories of Ananias in the book of Acts. And since it's at school, you can send your question to me. Uh, Peter Chapel Bottom. Yes, Peter Chapel Bottom. And send this page. I've seen Brenda. Hey, Auntie Brenda. God bless you. Adadevo. Please share this page to all your friends pastors and church leaders and all Christians. I've also seen my senior apostle, Apostle Stephen Kosifosu. Wow. From what city? My senior apostle. I salute you, sir. God bless you, Samuel Atta. You are watching. God bless you. So this is Peace Online Bible School. It's free of charge. And uh, the purpose of this school is that all of us who have basic understanding, especially, especially the centrality of the gospel, Jesus Christ. And that's already what we are doing. And uh, we began with the book of Acts. We are, today is chapter 9, 36, 43, and up to chapter 10. We want to take the Bible book by book, chapter by chapter, verse by verse. But we want to finish the New Testament. And after that, we are, we are going to come up with Peter um commentary. Yes. And uh, the essay is that from the pages from Genesis to Revelation, everyone will know the Bible is Jesus Christ. Until later, God bless you. Grace Amwa, God bless you. And so, as I said in my preamble, um, this is a school, so we have interaction. You can say anything. We are going to treat Acts chapter 9, 36 to 43, Acts 10, 1 to 43. You can send me your questions, you can send me your thoughts and everything. And so, before we uh, concluded last Monday, Somebody asked me a question about Ananias. The difference between the Ananias, Acts chapter 5, Ananias, Acts chapter 9, Ananias, Acts chapter 23. So we are beginning today with answering Ananias. Okay, so Ananias in Acts chapter 5. The first, the first said Ananias, the name means Yahweh has dealt graciously. Yahweh has dealt graciously. When you hear Ananias, that's the meaning. Yahweh has dealt graciously. So you can imagine that name was a good name. Unfortunately, the guy in Acts chapter 5 and his wife didn't do well. But anyway, that's the meaning of the name. Uh, that's, uh, so let's begin to look at the three different personalities, characters, uh, 
Ananias in Acts 5. So, Acts chapter 5, that Ananias was a member of the primitive church. The church Jesus began through the apostles, the Ananias and Sapphira, the, those who didn't uh, speak the truth, that they died. The Ananias, he was, she, he was a member of the church. So there was no, uh, in other words, you didn't have any relati- uh, relationship between the Acts chapter uh, the Ananias, who was the second one. So let's say the second Ananias was a follower of Christ who resided in Damascus. The first one resided where? Uh, Jerusalem, to be precise. But the second one was residing at Damascus. And there was no blood relationship, not at all. The third uh, Ananias, Acts chapter 23, verse 2, and Acts 24, verse 1. That Ananias was the son of Nebubas. Nebubas. He was the high priest and the president of the Sahedrin. So let's say here in Ghana we have Supreme Court and then we have uh, Chief Justice, right? So uh, that time, the Supreme Court of that time was known as the Sahindrin. And Acts chapter 23, verse 2, Acts 23, 2, and Acts 24, 1, that Ananias was the son of Nebubas, the high priest and the president uh, of the Sahindrin. So by saying, give you this today, Acts 5, Acts 9, Acts 23. All these people are known as Ananias, and yet they don't come from one family at all. They are different. So the one who asked me a question about Ananias in chapter 5 of Acts, Ananias in chapter 9, 20, and chapter 23, the differences are clear. Ananias chapter 23 happens to be the son, uh, the high priest. And so the Bible didn't hide his identity by giving us his background. Ananias was the son of Nebubas, the high priest, and the president of the Sahindrin. Wonderful. Ah, uh, grace of more. Thank you. Okay, Israel, Ba upon God bless you. All right. So if you read the Bible, Acts chapter, uh, Acts chapter five, chapter nine, chapter twenty-three, and you see Ananias. Please don't make conclusion that they come from uh, one family or they have any relation. Not at all. One was a high priest from a different family, and that one was a follower of Jesus Christ, uh, living at Damascus, and at the last, the first one was the one that he lied. Unfortunately, he lied, but the name Ananias simply means that Yahweh has dealt graciously. Okay, and to answer your question, will be the If you have any question of what we are going to do today, you can send your question to WhatsApp 0554 2569. 0554 2569. So today let's take our reading. Uh, God bless you from Italy, Kingsley. God bless you. God bless you, Kingsley. Please share the page to your friends. This is free online Bible school. Ask chapter 9. 36 to 43. We are dealing with the healing that took place at Joppa and the witness or the message of Jesus that uh, Apostle Peter preached. So let's take the readings. So verse 32 says, And Peter traveled about the country. Let me take from New Living Translation. Meanwhile, Peter traveled from place to place. And he came down to visit the believers in the town of Lydia. There he met a man named Anias who had been paralyzed and buried them for eight years. Uh, okay. Peter said to him, Anias, Jesus Christ heal you. Get up. Roll up your sleeping bed. And he was healed instantly. Then he, the whole population of Lydia and Shalom saw Anias walking, and they turned to the Lord. What can we learn from here? Peter didn't say, in my name, if a paradise, rise up. But rather, he said, in the name of Jesus. It simply means that only Jesus heals. 
And it simply means that if you go out there to preach the gospel and begin to uh, let people know Jesus, it will help us. So as 9, uh, 32 to 34, somebody who was sick for eight years received his healing. As a matter of fact, the Bible says he had been bedridden for eight years. He had his healing. Why? Because Peter went there with the message of Christ. And by mentioning uh, Jesus' name, the one who cannot walk began to walk. And by that miracle, many people turned to Christ. Now, Master, those of us who are men and women of God, we are so full. If I show. Don't just walk in the house. In other words, you need power. Hey, me the apostles to me there. The book of us so crucial. And Saint Jenny. O person on your Saint Jenny when you fear. When your main pie is a running wheel on it, and go your drops I am a talk of surprise that today we hear as, as a leg. Maybe who will be as that some people are saying some pastors have done this and done that. The apostles didn't go anywhere. But I believe in the name of Jesus Christ. But I mention his name. Something happened. And we go for sorry. And see some by Abraham. Until God appear. And I saw for for Richard. God bless you. So there is power in the name of Jesus. Let us go back to the Bible. Let's begin to locate and identify the power that apostles use. And that power was vested. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, you didn't to me wrong. Tetefono Kenya me. Now don't know by Abusiavo. You don't even need to be a pastor before you look for power. Every child of God, we are told that we are given power to become children of God. Ask I beg your pardon, John chapter 1, verse 12, John 1 12. So Acts uh, 9, 32, 34. We have seen the name of Jesus doing one this. Don't be an ordinary person. Don't be an ordinary pastor. Don't think you have arrived. Not at all. Until the baker, God bless you. May me do baby as a far. May you all do not pick a money any be. Hey, on the crowd, this is who told the pastor. I know I'm sorry. I was here for some. There are some places when you go, preaching alone cannot change the people unless power. So over here, the Bible said. The whole city came and turned to the Lord. Why? Because they saw power. And as I mean, God bless you. And the old person, you may be a war or don't come. Mom, I am fire, ni a kind of young man. As you say, young penny, me and me, and yet mechanic, I got a young road. That be Peter and apostles, they waited for power. So you are so full of crystal, ni, we are crystal, the crown, or don't know, and so man, if you have a former coon. There might be a difference between you, a child of God, and people who don't go to church. Ha! If you are before you know, say something to me. If Jesus take over your life, and you allow him to empower you, your life will never be the same. Yes! Apostle, Apostle, God bless you. This is your small brother, oh, small brother. God bless you, Apostle. You are the... When apostles are talking, they are getting quite long, quite long. Apostle, you mean so? So, my friends, what are we saying? There's power in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's preach him. Our message must be Jesus and nobody else and nothing else. And to my nigga Bible, who said, this book called Bible. <laughs> Whatever we are doing, we must go here. The Bible. We must be followers of those who through patience and faith have achieved the promise. Hebrews says twelve. Hebrews says twelve. Mama yam kofa babro. Ni yam shase. Asore na yam kwa. A jidifo. What kind of message must we preach? Oh, your Christo, new person ko diya dance yam. What sorry of answer na koka? You talk about your church. You talk about your pastor. But the ministry is not about any church. It's about Jesus. Take Jesus along with you, and he will change your story. But before you do, wait for. His empowerment. Maybe I take the phone number. So maybe I'm in the. Casa be be who here or do me who here. And you may, may Jesus empower you. May you receive the power from Jesus. 
so that you can do exploits. Thank you very much. Please share the page. Now, so we are continuing uh, our teaching from Acts chapter 9. Peter went to Joppa, and all he did was that message of Jesus, he went there to preach. So now, first thing I stop it. Let's go to verse 36. You can send your question to me, 0554-59-2569. You can share with us questions. You can also go to uh, Peter Chapel at the bottom and send your question. Anything you want all of us to consider, why not? This is Acts 9.36. So the 36 says, there was a believer in Joppa named Tabitha, in Greek, Dorcas. She was always doing kind things for others and helping the poor. About this time, she became ill and died. Her body was washed for burial and laid in Oster's room. But the believers had heard that Peter was nearby Lydia, so they sent two men to beg him, please come as soon as possible. What happened? <laughs> So Peter returned with them, and as soon as he arrived, they took him to the upstairs room. Upstairs room. The room was filled with widows who were weeping and showing him the coats and clothes Dorcas has made for them. So quickly, Peter has entered to Joppa, and somebody who was sick has died. And uh, I'm sure since Peter, General Vesia, had come around, I'm sure they wanted him to come and do burial service. Because they've already was uh, the body preparing for her burial. But Peter saw widows and they were weeping. <laughs> what happened? Peter asked them all to leave the room. Then he knelt and prayed, turning to the body and said, Get up, Tabitha. And she opened her eyes. When she saw Peter, she sat up. He gave her, her his hand and helped her up. Then he called in the widows and all the believers and he presented her to them alive. The news spread through the whole town and many believed in the Lord. And Peter stayed a long time in Joppa, living with Simon, a timer of heights. Now, I want to explain before I come to uh, Dorcas' uh, resurrection, or coming back to life. The verse 42 says, 43 says, Acts 9, 43. Peter stayed long time in Joppa, living with Simon, a timer of heights. Papa, why you are afraid of Simon? Or did he sign you into man? Like I said, no, you are not going to say, Nikanika, and go for the up in Pam, no, you are not going to say, Peter try. And what I see over there, Never despise the kind of work you do. But you're sure I said, you mind your year, two, two. I'm sure the only work that you must not do is to sell your body for money, prostitution, or becoming a robber. A you mind your year, no. Say, oh, yes, sebi, sebi, or bab, or bab, two, two, ni sebi, sebi. And I say, oh, baby, are they? A you mind your year, you mind, papa, you mind, you know. Mommy, way, papa, way, Simon, way, or the son, you mind, one of Peter. So he hosted. One of the greatest leaders and mentors in our world called Apostle Peter. As of a penny, when he said, the train. Those of us who are pastors and men of God, we must never despise our church members. Despite what they do. I told you, I saw them when we see a few. So I want to say, and you know, everybody is important in the, of God, in the sight of God. As 942, have you seen? The man who hosted Peter in Joppa wasn't an accountant, wasn't a banker, but somebody was working with his sons. Obia, I didn't stop him from there. I tell you, Titi, I know Papa Mahono, and Peter, and then they try. They are the only thing say. Emu Obia, Abomvia, Emu Uyasi, Emu, and I'm saying, Obia, say no, Obia, who here? Oya, God bless you, blessing. Abena Chira, God bless you. The healing of Joppa is described in more de detail than the one leader. 
A disciple named Tabitha, or Dorcas, in Greek, had died. She was always doing good and helping the poor. Chapter 9, 36. Particularly widows. The believers in Judah, uh, the believers in Joppa had heard that Peter was in the area. And they seemed to have heard what Peter, they seemed to have believed that he would be able to raise her from the dead. Consequently, they did not bury her immediately. Okay, I am sure what happened, uh, verse chapter 9, 32, 35, they heard it. You know, somebody was buried for eight years. Peter prayed, and the man was able to walk. So, when this one died, they knew it was not a burial service, as I've already indicated, by uh, trying to intervene and trying to marry the two. They washed the body. And because of what they have heard Peter doing, this is assumption, but it can be true. They were expecting Peter to come, and uh, they knew that when Peter comes, something good will happen. Surely. So, the grieving widow showed him the clothes that Tabitha had made for him. Peter does not seem, yes, uh, to have rebuked them for uh, weeping. Believers are allowed to mourn their departed ones. But you see, so, as some two of now, so I'm a man Oh, man, so man, so say, and so is allowed. Jesus calls me. Oh, John 11 35. Hey, Obi, you know, who is a man, so man, so say, yeah, that do so and what I But Peter didn't put the people to stop crying. They, they continue to weep. And you be a summer, you to the Bayaman in Sukakra. I don't see a drop. Prophet, praise your leader. God bless you. Every day you are with us. Share the page, oh, this is free online Bible school. But you don't have to be a part of the Bible. Now, you don't have to be a part of the Bible. I'm going to say, 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 when you said yes, you must be able to make resolution about your life. Watching live from Capital Hill, CAC, number two, Wow. God bless you very much for giving us audience. So we are just going from verse to verse from this uh, scriptures, Acts chapter 9. Today we are doing, uh, although I wrote 36, but we began 33. Okay, so let's continue. Peter sent everyone out of the room. He learned this from Jesus. Matthew 9.25. Matthew 9.25. And he knelt down and prayed. As 940A. And uh, we don't know what he prayed, but I'm sure he could have asked Jesus uh, to bring her back to life. And indeed, it happened. Now, what lessons are we learning from here? 9, chapter 9, 36, uh, 33 to 35. Somebody was there reading for eight years. Peter said, Jesus, then rise up. The man began to walk over here. Tabitha had died. Ye jarena we ye besie no. And go for no go for Peter no. Me dey na me so obesie no but make nka ba bu ni ye mo so da bi enye ye. O ma te say Peter, I mo be aso in. O mo so wetu ma ye bibi. Peter ba no ye bibi. O nya me ni pa bi a wu tie me bi a Christo ni bi a no. Let's go back to the Bible and look for this power that the apostles used. Don't forget Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. Power of Jesus is available. Shed one your ordinary pastor, ordinary Christian. I was saying, you don't need to go to which doctor concourse to pay money to any wicked pastor. David, David, train your man, say, Trakunkuyum, Nama Okra Kondo, Okra Kondo Mosra, go for power. Hey, if I don't. You don't need to be a pastor before you need anointing. Every Christian, you need power. Now, if you to me and say, you're too so and come. And you may, as you hear the sound of my voice, may you receive power from above. Yes, or Domino, Emra also. They saw the essence. Of empowerment. So you know, Holy Spirit came upon them. They took over the world for Christ. 
and then post in Kwani and pay. All post. That's all we are looking for. Lily, God bless you. Prophetess Lily, thank you for your life and thank you for the life of your husband. This is free online Bible school. And uh, one of the teachers is uh, talking to you. Lily is a, pro a prophetess and uh, a wife of my son and she's also a daughter. Lily, I miss up. We miss you very much. Share the page for us. We are treating us chapter 9. This is free online Bible school. We try to help believers because we have discovered that it is not only reading or studying, but at times you may read and study, but you don't, know, you don't have understanding. So for you to have understanding of this book, Bible, at times you need a coach, a mentor, a guide. And somebody read the Bible, Acts chapter 8, and uh, he was asked, do you understand what you are reading? And then he replied, how can I, unless somebody guides me? Acts 8, 30, 31. So by the grace of God, we have great pastors, great supports around the globe. And by God's grace, we are giving peace chapel ministers. Over here, we have pastors, men and women of God, who are great teachers. One of them is talking to you by privilege tonight. And he asked 9, 36, 33. 33, Acts 9, 33 uh, to 43. What we can say is that Peter went to Joppa, and two miracles took place. Somebody who was buried him for eight years, he said, Jesus' name, rise up. He rose up. And Dorcas or Tabitha, who had died, Peter prayed for her, and she came back uh, to life. And because of these two, many people came to see the Lord. If you are a Christian, and you want to go for evangelism, don't just go. Involve God in your evangelism. Meaning, pray for direction, and pray for empowerment. When you are more empowered, you don't need billboards. Oh, yes. And to the American, I said, let's go back to the Bible and search for the power that apostles use. And that power is in the name of Jesus. They waited for him. And it's available for everybody. Be on your deal for now. So, on your to your view, any now, I am here to me. Now, young, I am preaching here. Me, I make us an account. A human that you superpower people have problems, they have come to our church, and there must be a way that God through us must let them be, become free. But we can't do what that one without power unless Jesus' power. So, you must be able to contact a power that apostles use. Jesus' power is available. You have a young, Susie Frimpon, God bless you, Mama. And the CEO of the school is also here. Reverend Apart himself is also here with us. They're here here. If I'm not empowered, Master, ministry becomes very difficult. Peter preached one day, three thousand people got saved. And then the second day, five thousand, and then eventually multitude. If the Jesus killers themselves also came and they became Christians. Why? Because they saw power. Peter preached Christ and power was accompanied by his preaching. We need the two. The word and demonstration of power. But be careful that because of power you go to the witch doctor. No. The apostles waited. They waited for the original power. And that power is available. Yes, 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 yes. Now, another one thing that we, sh we say about, uh, I want to share with you about Docas or Tabitha in Acts 9, 43, Acts 9, 36 to 43, was about the good deeds that while she was alive, she did. There were widows in the church. She began to clothe them. And so when Peter came, either to bury her or to see what I was going to do, the widows began showing Peter what Tabitha had done while she was alive. My friends, good works speaks. Good works speaks. And my papa, a kasa papa, ate. To sumo trimo nye de ha ya papa. Ni wo wo no, somebody had died. And other people were testifying about her good deeds. What about you, a living soul? 
etimo din ti enka ho asempa ma otimo nya mere wate do good to people in the church you go if you have there are people in the if you have need people people who are in need if you have uh, something to do do your environment your area wherever you are try to do good for the needy and the poor and what are, what happens pre adventure anything dead in your life can come back to life it is possible enyu ma papa e bu anipa ma mutu utu bonya den enyu ma papa and the doctor said ban kwem so what are we saying the early church has something special that we need it today as chapter 2 the power came to the apostles they chose deacons and a life of Stephen and Philip ordinary deacons changed the world they became territorial or continental takers and as for the apostles like Peter and Paul they not a gym what is that power today they are making me so me can be Titifuna ebi o nene de de ni e pei po sungu ane titles sungu ane. Yet although they suffered, the apostles of it, but I tell you, you can't take away the power that back their ministry. And all of, all of us who are in ministry, even as a child of God, you need empowerment. It will help you to work for the Lord very well. Number one, number two, nobody can kill you pre prematurely, not at all. So when you miss your man, you Christ only now to fear. We are bombing to me so quite da. Also, they are owning Google. And you hear to me. And you may open to me now. I want to shout, Amen. 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 And what on man? Amen. As far as I am in show. And this is it. It is well with us. As in cancer, God bless you. This is free online Bible school. You can share this page. Where your school team patch or question? Now with the Abba. Yes, uh, we'll be and I'm 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 Five nine two five six nine. Five nine two five six nine. So now let's go to Acts chapter ten. In Kaiseri there lived Roman army officer named Cornelius, who was a captain of the Italian regiment. He was a devout, God fearing man, as was Everyone in the household, he gave generously to the poor and prayed regularly to God. One afternoon, about three o'clock, he had a vision in which he saw an angel of God coming toward him. Cornelius, the angel said, <laughs> Just he says, Bishop, there is no question. You have said it all. Oh, wow. Also for Adai, says God bless. Also for Adai, here you are, your boy, you deputy <laughs> principal of the school. So one afternoon, about three o'clock, he had a vision in which he said he saw an angel of God coming toward the Cornelius. The angel said, Cornelius stared at him in terror. What does he say? He asked the angel. The angel replied, Your prayers and gifts to the poor have been received by God as an offering offering now send some men to Joppa and someone and someone and someone a man named Simon Peter is staying with Simon the timer who lives near the seashore and as the angel was gone Cornelius called two of his household servants and a divorce soldier one of the personal attendance, he, he told them what happened and sent them off to Joppa. Don't forget chapter 9, the verse 43. Peter stayed at Joppa with Simon, a time of heights. Obia, or didn't stop in Pamata, there. And now, Simon turning chain. They said, If you ask me, 
a two two and a corona and you and maybe a duma the one who hosted Peter for months or years on his evangelical campaign wasn't an educated banker but ordinary tama or be a ordinary inside a duma and he Marka said don't despise anybody as a pastor everybody's important and you as a person don't despise yourself and you know you'll be a part of chronic to to the same assembly and you know yeah so from penny and funny and make my phone yeah 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 in our churches the way we single people out and begin to think that some people are less important everybody's important in the house of god so let's take note of that all right and so the same uh simon that was where the angel directed Cornelius to go and fetch Peter. So let's begin with the explanation. In Acts chapter 10. There's a man called Cornelius. Listen. If you read this Bible and uh, you get to Acts chapter 10, it's very important. You know why? It's important because now Christianity jumped us to have opportunity to come and join the church at Samaria. The people were 50 percent Jews, right? But over here, where Cornelius and his people were purely Gentiles, and over there, too, uh, Jesus sent Peter to go. So let's begin to interrogate, uh, analyze this man called Cornelius. The Bible says he was a devout man. God fearing man. What does it mean? Only Pan Babu so slow yami. And so so on yami say on Fred Peter Mran on said obey as he say. Now let's check this one. Anytime you read New Testament, especially, and you see somebody who fears the Lord, I want you to know what it meant or what yes, what uh, they mean by that. Listen. God fearing person like Cornelius, right? What does he mean? Uh, during their time, there were many gods and there were some people who were not Jews, but they decided to worship the God the Jews worship, the one God. Although they didn't allow themselves to be circumcised, but they believe Judaism and they believe uh, the one God. And because of that, they were called those who fear the Lord. So Cornelius was a Greek, number one. But the Bible says he feared the Lord. He was not a Christian. But he believed the Jews God, who was a Yahweh. Now let's look at this unless you are circumcised and some people like Cornelius, they were too big and they were old too or share a soldier for me a hand sign so or you need to say when you need or say maybe you have made my shit when you're going to put you quiet maybe i can't allow myself to be circumcised because it's too painful but i believe the one god and i believe the teachings of the judaism so what the bible say he feared the lord he wasn't a christian but he was doing something right what does he mean it simply means that without Jesus Christ, it doesn't matter what you do, you are not a child of God. Yeah. Yeah, Obi was saying, I mean, cross from here, Papa, Master. <laughs> no matter what you do without Christ, it's nothing. Because Cornelius, though he feared the Lord, the Bible said he was giving alms to the needy. And he was praying. But God said, Go for the best. Thank God, you're complete. Why must Peter come and preach Christ to him? So, what are we saying? It doesn't matter what you do. Without Jesus, your life is incomplete. It's a lie. It's a lie from the pit of hell. Says who? Eh, Kingsley is watching. Uh, Daniel Mensa is watching. Everybody's here. Say, only will be Kasa say Chris of Fugan, but I mean Kwasa Rada. Don't disgrace yourself. Don't deceive yourself. Without Jesus, 
your goodness is incomplete. Kono li yosu mpa. Waya God fearing person. Ono de tiye. Asumu yehuwa nyangopo. Waya papa. But the Bible said he needed Christ. So no matter who you are and what you do, no Jesus, no life. So when I say no Jesus, I want you to type no life and shout whatever you want. No Jesus, no life. Party. I say no Jesus, no life. But don't forget what we are saying now. When you read the Bible and you hear, you hear like he was a devout God-fearing man, then you are going to be confused. Why was it that Cornelius was a God-fearing man and yet God sent Peter to go to uh, God sent Cornelius to go to Joppa and fetch Peter so that he can know the truth. It simply means that though he was a, the person, Cornelius was a devout person fearing God, but he was not a child of God. Because only Jesus can make somebody life complete. But as I've already, already explained, yes, Susie said no life. You are right, my man. No life, I'm fine. When you read the Bible, somebody fear the Lord. It simply means that he believed the one true God. And he also believed Judaism, but he didn't know Jesus. So that's what I will say about Cornelius. Not only that, not only that, but the Bible says he was he, uh, he was a Roman army officer. Wow. And he was a captain of Italian regiment. What does he mean? A simply means that, let's say, he was a commander who commands soldiers. But my research, my fun was, my funding that I had was that for him to become Italian regiment, it simply means that he was in charge over 600 soldiers. I can only be part of Now, I know some people who are not your papa. Now, also, you are not. I told you, I am not say. I be only sick of fear. Be a now, I boy, you are not rough, rough. Listen, there are people who fear God, no matter their level. So, please, no matter your level, no matter how you see yourself, you got to know that no Jesus, no life. Don't deceive yourself because of your status in society. Jesus is the best. That's number one. No matter how you see yourself, never think that I'll never go to church, but I'll do good. It's a lie. Do good, yes, but go to church and accept Jesus. That's what I will say. Number two, Cornelius, the Bible says, he gave general to the poor and prayed. Now, God came and said, your prayers and your gifts have become memorial before God. Wow. What does it mean? It simply means that as you serve Jesus Christ, whatever we are doing is before the Lord. Listen. The God we serve is a rewarder and is a recorder. Can you say what we say? The God I serve is a recorder. Ready, go. The God I serve is a recorder. One more time. The God I serve is a recorder. One more time. The God I serve is a recorder. One more time. The God I serve is a recorder. Correct. Acts 10. Yes. When you remember you didn't know. And you have your who? Please, never try to be a sociopath, a pretender. What does he mean? Never carry dual nature. And go for him, quiet, so you're crum crum. And go for him, go for your mind. My union, you let your yes be yes. Be a man or woman of integrity. And don't forget, anything you do, God sees. And my papa and see Sister brother, some people they change God. Other people, God changed them. And as I said, the God I serve is a recorder. Oh my blessings. Uh, two people, two categories of people in the church. One, people change God. Another people too, God changed them. 
Which group do you belong? Which category do you belong? You only probably have any group of children crying. Obi also any of any children crying. Come only us to the new map of Paninti. Any of any children crying. I pray in the name of Jesus and I decree. May you receive divine visitation in the name of Jesus. And if you live, let your enemy shout like a tender. Amen. I say it one more time. May you receive divine visitation in the name of Jesus. And you may not mess now. I'm messing 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 now. May God empower you. May divine visitation become order of your day. Wherever you go, may God visit you. Particularly today, this evening. I want you to snap on all you I'm a snap. This is online three piece Bible school. Mickey says, powerful, precious. Jewel is watching. King Sofa is watching. Mavis Oda is watching. And Andrew Abraham, I can say, in the name of Jesus. Dear, Acts chapter 10, we are discussing Cornelius. The Bible says he feared the Lord. And I've, I've explained to you, he was a Gentile, but he believed the God of Yahweh. But he didn't allow himself to be circumcised. But he believed Judaism. So he qualified that he feared the Lord. But it wasn't enough. Because you can't do good without Jesus. It's incomplete. So no Jesus, no life. Can you say with me? No Jesus, no life. When I say no Jesus, it's more no life. No Jesus, no life. Okay, another one. When I say no Jesus, say without Jesus. When I say without Jesus, it's more life is incomplete. Without Jesus, life is incomplete. One more time. Without Jesus, life is incomplete. One more time. Without Jesus, life is incomplete. Now, Brad Kennedy is also watching. Are you ready? I have free online Bible school. Ask in a way. You didn't come on. You know, you know, the God I serve is a recorder. Cornelio. Wow. Those of us who go to church, your offerings, God has recorded them. We will be our worker, God has recorded whatever you are doing. And it's still recording. Entity, and can tell me, say, me and your papa, be your papa. We are here for, we are the only be Do good to people. Because you will be our dark, 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 dark. Papa, yeah. And you are Bible, some of my mother, papa, you are a papa. You may trust one do not get worried doing good. Because if you don't give up, you are going to reap. Galatians 6 9. Galatians 6 9. Philip, I'm going to say, for Sire Boy is watching. 1 Corinthians 15 59. 15 58. Bible said, be steadfast or movable. Knowing that the work you do shall never be in vain. Moon didn't him. Moon him. Anything you are doing, God sees. My own <laughs> childhood friend, Mrs. Naomi Osasumeni, and my brother in law, Ashanti Man. Principal, director, God bless you. Shante Sante, God bless you. As chapter 10, we are saying, any good thing you are doing, there is a reward waiting for you. So don't give up. Cornelius, his arms to the poor and his prayers became a memorial before God. And instead of him going for God, God literally expressly sent for him. Oh, sir. And my papa, a Kenya mia kuma. Your papa, what it? Those of you go to church as you serve Jesus Christ, do go to the poor, to the to the needy. And in case God blesses you with money, give some to, 
for kingdom promotion. Because one day, one day, ah, it will be credited to your account. Life is governed by seed time and harvest time, sowing and reaping. You only pay go no and watch. Ah, me person yam sumu yo uti wa ne nyame ti o kono le o so jin hu ba bi o. I'm sure sir, angel and do one. Your fan say say shalom shalom say ni. O sumu kura ni asem. Nyango po mo say obo for say your hands and prayers have become memorial before God. Oh. So whatever we are doing as people, as individual, God, we serve, is a rewarder and a recorder. He records every good thing we do. That is why you must have energy and that tenacity and capacity to keep on doing good. Don't get worry or worry if you people don't appreciate you. Cornelius, yay, me pesenya mesume, senya na besrao, ade. And you may say, you may not receive divine visitation in the name of Jesus. Amen. But don't forget, it doesn't come on silver platter. It depends on your relationship with Christ. Though Cornelius was a man who feared the Lord, but he lacked something. He didn't have Christ. And I'm saying, no matter how good somebody is, without Jesus, life is incomplete. And to share what that for me, but somebody may have from me, Papa, or what? My papa without Jesus, I'm fat. Papa, you are yes, you must be paid. Without Jesus, whatever you do is <laughs> it's not time before God. But the other papa, when you meet him, sit through in the house of God, and uh, he is a rewarder. The God I serve is a rewarder. Emmanuel say, is watching. Mavis is watching. And tell me what we are seeing. Me only pa, only pa, kakra kakra. But I am happy, sir. Say, you are my father. Say, you be kitu abi a meni jiho. And my desire is that I have some things in life. My goal in life is that through me, people will see Jesus. Through me, God's glory will be seen. And through me, people will be happy. These are the reasons why I'm alive. Paul said, I'm going to be a good person. 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 That's all. That's the reason of my life. If you say, I'm going to be a good person. What do you say? Brother. So what do you mean? She know who you mean, sir. Cause you didn't mean it. In case you have sown seed in the kingdom of God, maybe you are a kingdom promoter, a kingdom advancer, advancement person, and still you have challenges. Keep on doing. Don't stop it. Cornelius, I know by my understanding, he began doing it for a long time, and he became memorial before God. Your papa and your dad, now that co ebekasa. Now, I mean, the little Cornelius, the old view. Coco, they are some or Papa Yeno, a dream. I mean, hey, Cornelius, many a day go to Jopa. Now, only Edward says, you know, now let's begin to uh, interrogate Peter's response to what he said now, and then so that we can explain. Don't forget, this is what we call free online Bible school. We are doing studies. All right, the peace chapel, we have a Bible school because of Corona. Now, I feel like we can say, uh, Principal, I didn't want to do a quick look at But this one is free. I'm just doing book by book, verse by verse. We have many good interpreters in the world. And I'm just a small boy doing small thing here. I am free. You can see what I'm doing. Open up Bible school. You can send me uh, your... Request or you can call us 0554 0554 592569 592569 uh, Bible school, huh? Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. By idea, Mondays and Thursdays, 7 to 8 30. Oh, you can send your question to me, Peter Chapel Bottom here, you may answer or the WhatsApp line. I will be able to answer that. And you are going to get a crack. And there is school in the corner. Get a crack. I say Corona. No, actually, we have to say. Yeah, it's not as well. They won't go. They will follow social media. No, so we are studying the Bible cover by cover. Don't forget, for you to understand the Bible correctly, you need a guide. And by God's grace, we have many people who guide us. And one of them is talking to you by privilege and grace. Share the page to your friend. Free online Bible school. 
If you want to know more details about the one that we do here, you can call 0554, 0554-0554-5925690554-5925269. Okay, so let's continue. Acts chapter 10, we have read up to 8. Now let's go to 9. If I say Peter responds, you bet me, I'm the next day, as Cornelius messengers were nearing the town, Peter went up on the flat roof to pray. It was about noon, and he was hungry. But while a meal was being prepared, he fell into a trance. Listen, we hear about Bumono. The apostles has about three times of pray, praying to God. The morning, and the afternoon, so 9 o'clock, 9 in the morning, 12, and 3 p.m. Uh, even we have uh, some religion, like our brothers and sisters who are Muslims, they pray five times a day. But Christians, we don't have time to pray. By God's grace, peace up, we have started something you call divine encounter. Every afternoon, Monday to uh, Saturday, 12 to 1 p.m., GMT. A Jordan could see if a member, and we have a Facebook 12 to 1, your bomb pie. Please, my brother, I was so young, brother, bomb pie. Hey, Peter was going to pray. Oh no, he was hungry. But a young boy, I'm going to be a new one for bomb pie. So that be a Christian football. And you know, what did it too much? And yet, hey, I don't know how to pack my sister. Did it? You're going to be a Messi Mensa is watching. Some people don't eat too much. Listen, Peter was hungry, number one. He went to the top to pray. And then he entered into trance. And over there, God began to unveil his mandate to him. Do you have time to pray? Or oh, you have taken prayer as casual. Listen, prayer must be your lifestyle as a child of God. Morning prayers, afternoon prayers, evening prayers. Very important. Peter, and we are not for one by you. Now, what do you want to do? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Four hours. You don't have time to pray. Listen, I want to encourage you, my friends. Set time and have appointment with your God. This is not good. The one thing that you go to church and you pray with your pastors and your church. This is individual. Christianity is individual first. Because Jesus die for everybody, but the Bible says whosoever, whosoever simply means individual affairs. Into a minimum, you know, I call your name, your mother, Peter, no, I said, about 12 of a vampire. Now, once way, down on me to come for a bit of hair, you know, cream of four, or two of petrol, baby, a tabby, no, a two of a vampire, or crystal, this or an opera, or back as I said, in this a vampire. You don't know, you are a son of a kiri 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 kiri. Oda, you don't know you are. Oda, Peter Munya met a bomb pie three times a day. Anyway, your father don't know. You're trying to answer me. But you can send me your question to Peace Chapel. And you may, I'm going to put on to me again. This is Peace Chapel program that we have organized because uh, we want to contribute to the society and Christianity at large. So we are discussing Acts chapter 10. So Peter was hungry, but he was about to, uh, although he was hungry, but it was noon. So he went to pray. He fell into trance. Now, as NBC, you are, he saw the sky open, and something like a large sheet was let down by his four corners. Acts 9, 11, I'm making a Verse 12. In the sheet were all sorts of animals, reptiles, and birds. Then a voice came to him, get up, Peter, kill, and eat them. No, Lord, Peter, Peter de declared, I have never eaten anything that our Jewish laws have declared impure and unclean. Wow. But the voice again, the voice spoke again. Do not call something unclean if God has made it clean. The same machine was repeated three times. Then the sheet was suddenly pulled up to heaven. Listen. That's why I love Acts chapter 10. Because Acts chapter 1 verse 9, 
Jesus came to the whole world. But the Jews took Jesus on their own. Christianity headquarters was at Jerusalem. And although Samaritan believers, Samaritans were 50% Jews. So we didn't have any pure Gentiles in the church. Acts chapter 10 was the place that God opened up Gentiles to Christian community. Peter, go to Cornelius. Was it me? Peter forgot that the, the, the vision he had was from heaven. God was saying, I have made people clean. Don't call them unclean. Say, you know me, pa, and can you? Master, we must be able to appreciate Jesus. All of us, especially Gentiles like you and I. Say, you know, and can summon to you. Peter said, I'm going to go. Now, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? At times, some people in the church, we even behave as if we are holier than God. Peter was trying to show up that he even knows the truth than God. God said, eat is no more. But anyway, it was not about food. It was about God giving us a mandate that the Gentiles too belong to Jesus Christ. Okay. Peter was very perplexed. Or, you know, what could the vision mean? Just then, the men sent by Cornelius find Simon, Simon's house standing outside the gate. They asked if a man named Simon Peter was staying there. This is Acts 10, verse 8. Meanwhile, as Peter was pushing over the vision, Holy Spirit said to him, Three men have come looking for you. Get up. Go downstairs and go with them without hesitation. Don't worry, for I have sent them. Wow. If I talk to they say, what am I saying? Peter as apostle had a vision. He was contemplating the meaning of the mystery of the vision. And then God said, it is me. Go. Oh, I would have been. And you may have been on Kassan Oh. Because listen, had not been uh, the intervention of the apostles had not been the intervention of the Holy Spirit, the apostle wouldn't have ever entered into any Gentile home. I do forest, God bless you. Amen, sir. Pokwa, God bless you. Listen. Say you know me, kung kung kung, and can you for my Christmas come over the other? Christmas ma, me me ni je kono se, anama obe tu bi aranya me ba chere wo. Oh Jesus. Father God, myself and all my viewers, online viewers, may we experience the apostolic power in the name of Jesus. My dear sister, Auntie Susie, Edu Frimpon, Mercy Benson, Mavis, Emmanuel, Asante, Auntie Naomi, Steve Benson, Peter Yabua, Jesus, Phyllis, Susie, blessing, and all of you, may Jesus Open your ears. May Jesus open your eyes. May you hear from heaven so that you know what to do. We are living in a wicked world. We need divine direction. <laughs> Sister, brother, we are seeing tea. At the back of the house, Hong Kong, or the Casa train. If you say, I'm going to pay, then I'll be saying, I'm when you pray, what do you ask God for? I can force it. Or utility at the Akani about an answer. Tete Furo, they will change me. Okay, or do no. And you may on your mini bar, on your mess of war. You hear dumb. Chris or Niba, who hear dumb. You hear dumb and dumb. Hong Kong, on Soma. Be in Pia Masa, what is Soma? A what is Soma? A what is Soma? Oh, you only. Oh, we are so not in a net now for the obey. Yeah, I would have day now. Let me be Peter and your vision. Come on, more way do I see there be more wanted the mini when you're missing Cassa. Men are missing could be all you can say. What kind of vision is this? He heard knocking, and God said, I have some people don't say I won't go, go because I send them. What am I trying to say? Hearing from God. Ah, makes life become enjoyable. You know what to do. Unfortunately, God speaks 24-7. But some people, 
they block their future years because some Christians are carnal people. If you live as a child of God with carnality, you can't hear from God. You must be able to be spiritual, which simply means that don't get ready, but live ready. Be a Christian that you are constant with divinity. If I join you, baby, say, see, I make us say, and come over on Facebook, but only I took peace chapel and I want him again. The radio station, baby, but on the front, I want him to come again. As the children say, on your make us say, baby, our God still speaks every day. But say, you better than can you answer me? I didn't hear say, ma, if you must want to say, if you say, but I want to, don't allow the world to take away your God's giving gift. All you need is divine direction. God will speak to you, provided you want him to talk to you. Don't forget, he has given us Holy Spirit as a spiritual policeman. If you allow him, he will guide your life. The apostles did well because they allow uh, Jesus to guide them. May you and I allow Jesus to guide us. Evangelist Akufu, great teacher. God bless you. Great so. Jesus is the great teacher. I'm just a small boy following Christ. Yes. The greatest is Jesus. Oh, yes. You have a yes, great in the man. You have a yes, you have a yes, you have a yes, you have a yes, you have The glory go to Christ. Thank you for honoring me, but I would rather give Jesus this glory. He is the greatest teacher. When you serve Jesus Christ, what can make you your son become easy in the leadings and the directions of the Holy Spirit? I can never emphasize this point. I love this one. The book of Acts is the book of the Holy Spirit, his activities. I need that kind of Christianity. Serving Jesus with strength and to not help you. Carnality will erode your future. Without definition, there's no destination. Without Jesus Christ, you can't go far. No Jesus, no life. No Jesus, your life is incomplete. And when you have Jesus, what you need is that you need empowerment. You need direction. Like you cannot have on silver platter. Go for it. Get ready. Pray. Live a life that pleases Jesus. And wait for him. Hong Kong Kong. Are you ready to number coin? Jamema. Jamema. Jesus, yeah. Shamima, Fawson, Som, Shamima. Ah, Peter, Tikosa. Or the new vision. Huh? In other words, before Peter made a decision to do anything, God revealed to him in a vision. Why he was perplexed, contemplating about what kind of vision Jesus, through his friend, began talking to him. Ah, bah. Shamima, Miami, Shamima. Yes, yes. Shamima, mausum sum shamima. Una ufra yansa, yamra me yawa juma. Una ufra yansa, yamra me yawa juma. Una ufra yansa, yamra me yawa juma. Yabo, yabo, yaba. Enti mi ura yansu, mami yama. Mira, yes, yeah. Mami, shama. Yeah. Yes, it's what I say. Jesus has no change. Kingsley is saying, okay. Steve Mesa is saying, hearing from God makes life enjoyable. God bless you, daddy. Kingsley is saying, your teachings so powerful. Bless you today, Bishop, more anointing. Amen. Serving Jesus is the greatest thing you can do for your life and your po the posterity of more. But to make it easier for you, accessibility to Holy Spirit, the voice of God, is the key for progress. Peter <laughs> May you receive the voice of God. May God open your eyes. Avoid being a carnal Christian. And trust it. And trust it. In other words, 
at times because of worry. We worry about uncertainty. And because of that, we are choked spiritually. If we are seeing a crumble that day, a total be a not a year every or domino home. And you may, and maybe I said, detail, then you may, and Casa Now let's continue. So here, Peter was contemplating. Peter was for place. So let's, we are now 21, 10 21. So Peter went down and said, I am the man you are looking for. Why have you come? The people said, we were sent by Cornelius, a Roman officer who is a devout and God-fearing man, well respected by all the Jews. A holy angel instructed him to summon you to his house so that he can hear your message. So Peter invited the men to stay for the night. The next day he went with them, accompanied by some of the brothers from Joppa. Okay. So over here, what are we saying? Peter now is convinced to go to the house of Cornelius. He hosted the people that Cornelius are sent to fetch him. And then the next day he went to the house of Cornelius. But the Bible says, when he was going, according to uh, verse 23, the next day Peter went, accompanied by some of the brothers from Joppa. Please. Anytime I'm doing evangelism, go, don't go alone. Don't go alone. Peter didn't go alone. Don't do ministry alone. Dabi, dabi, dabi. Hey. Jesus sent apostles two by two. So, what am I doing ministry? Don't do it alone. Make sure uh, whatever you are going, you go with somebody. Very important. Peter went with three people. Oh, brother. Because he's saying, my sister Christian, Christian sister. He found comfort. Hey! Now I'm going to go. Sister, I'm going to go. I don't go alone. If you want to do evangelism, Jesus sent the people two by two. Don't go alone. Don't try. Make sure, whatever you are, if you are doing ministry, don't do it alone. Wherever you are going, make sure you go with somebody. It will help you. Never do ministry alone. Peter went, wait, some people. Don't go alone. Go with some people. So that whatever happens, people will also be there. As a matter of fact, uh, when Peter went, something happened. And the people were there to testify, testify about what has happened. If Peter had gone alone, he could have defended himself because I said, Miss here, thank you for the the you say, But because you went with people, they were able to help him, uh, to defend him, what happened there. So please, in ministry, don't forget, don't go alone. Wherever you go, go with people. They arrived in Kaisari the following day. Cornelius was waiting for them, as 10 to the four. And had called together his relatives and friends. As Peter entered his home, Cornelius fell at his feet and worshipped him. But Peter pulled him up and said, Stand up, I'm a human being, just like you. So they, they talked together and went inside where many others were assembled. Take Peter went with people, but when he went, Cornelius, because he had much about Peter, so when Cornelius saw him, he bowed down, a form of prostrate, or giving him some uh, form of respect. Once they say, I'll be offering great teacher, and the said, but great dear, Men of God, women of God, let us learn. To give Jesus the credit. Never take God's Jesus' grace. Never try. I can never take anything. Jesus Don't take Jesus' glory. It's risky to take Jesus' glory. Don't try. 
Debi a young for Yosu. In Asia, man, young for the demon. Yes, let you young. Listen. Cornelius bow. Don't forget, he wasn't a Christian. Although he was a man who feared the Lord. He was doing something good, but he was limited to what truth was concerned. So God uh, sent Peter, and now Peter has come. He knelt down. He said, No, don't kneel down. I'm a human being. Anything God will use you to do, you got to know you are object of grace. Me, I didn't bow down, my dear. And you may I don't care can I mean Mokasa. I'm talking to fathers, brothers and sisters. Any power mo kasa mama mo bra. I'm a kumani pa na me me no kasa. And the grace na mama me tu ni mo kasa. Me a de me ye obi asa. And the sad ya, and you know me wa me ho. Jesus na ne dia. It does anything good about me. It is Jesus. So tonight he deserves to be praised. He deserves to be magnified. All praise goes to Jesus. Let's learn to render Jesus's glory. Never take his glory, his glory. Never try. If you want to know, when you meet Herod, who was <laughs> killed by God, when he took God's grace. And you know me, I want to know, I used to be a, you know, you see, I didn't know, you know, me, I'm going to be a, you know, you know, you know, you know, you know, what have you learned so far? Number one, Peter, through God's grace on him, somebody who had been buried him for eight years was able to rise up and walk. Dorcas of Tabitha, who died, Peter, through Jesus' power, brought her back to life. And because of that, many people came and accepted Jesus. So what we have learned, number one, is that don't let allow uh, our flesh only. In other words, it's good to preach and to or to teach. But let us access God's power or Jesus' power. How? By waiting for his empowerment, pray and live a life that pleases him. God, grant me grace to serve you well and then empower me. That's the moment. And the second thing that we have also learned is that Jesus, Peter mentioned Jesus' name. So whatever happens, give credit to Jesus and not to you. And we didn't have time to go to uh, Peter's message. If God permit, Monday we, we will discuss what Peter said, the preaching about Jesus Christ. But at least we have learned something about Dorcas. Her good deeds spoke on her behalf. I have a papa. What do you say? I have a papa. Tabitha had died, but there was testimony on her behalf. So while you are alive, do good to people. So that one day, in the day that you need God most, something somehow will speak on your behalf. And that one, when you go to Acts chapter 10, this is Acts 9, 33 to 46. But Acts chapter 10, we saw Cornelius. Though he was not a Christian, he was a devoted uh, Gentile who loved uh, Jewish religion, he served one God, but he lacked the light. But the Bible says, your, his prayers and arms had become memorial before God. So that one, I made a statement, God is a rewarder and is a recorder. Whatever we are doing, God sees he record and he's going to reward you. My prayer for you is that may he reward you. May you receive reward from God. Listen, all of us need God. If you need God, shout amen. Amen. I need God, but God is not far from us. Our body is God's residence. He resides in us. God is with us. Listen, if you want miracle or breakthrough, it's not how many people that pray for you that matters, but the quality of your service to God. Your heart, your heart, and the state of your mind. Listen, 
Do good so that one day the good you do will speak on your behalf. If you go to church as a Christian, be a kingdom promoter. Promote the church. Promote the kingdom of God. And therefore, do good to other people who are in need so that it can speak for you. Don't forget, some people look for God. Other people too, God look for them. And the difference is clear. If you my papa, a man you make you feel the power. Yeah, papa, no we are the mess now. And you know my empire, my bio, and I can say, may you receive divine visitation. And don't forget, although Peter was doing his own thing through the Holy Spirit intervention, he had God and Cornelius was connected. So, what makes Christianity easier and enjoyable is power from God. Everybody they want some, not on show day. And you may remember, yeah, yeah. Everybody, I do my best to ask after ten years. So, but yeah, can you know it? It, 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 it. Yeah. So I can't see. That's when you meet. Yes, once a sign on that wall. I come and do me that come. Any idea? Yeah, the best one. No. Cause so I need pizza for four ninety. On live Bible school, you may do my Monday, seven p.m. You remember? I pizza up on Casa Bible School Mondays. Tuesdays and Thursdays. What your friend register? No. 0244 616882. 0244 616882. Ah, my review divine encounter. Chiambo at 12 o'clock. Or Chinavia. Worship. Amen. And so, a Sunday services. No, two services. 6.30. I started 7. Near point eight forty five. Near to us, or by 11, near upon a room fee. Saturday, you may family life, family matters, 7 p.m. God bless you for your time, and God bless my brothers and sister who also help us, the crew. About them, mom, you know, and God bless you for everything. Good night, bye bye. When you read the Bible, do you have understanding? Do you have the skills to interpret the Bible? Can you apply the Bible correctly to your daily life? The Bible is God's word, but not everyone that reads the Bible understands. The Bible is God's manual for living. The Bible is profitable living. The Bible is a book of sources. Acts chapter 8, 31. Philip asked Ethiopian, you know, do you understand what you are reading? He replied, how can I? Unless someone guides me, all you need to do is to search Peace Chapel Facebook Live. You can have the skills and proper interpretation and understanding to catapult your life to the next level. Peace Online Bible School is here to make you fall deeply in love with the Word of God. Join us this and every Monday and Thursday at 7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. and you will be equipped for glory. Peace. Shalom. Then 5.30, the Bible says, Is any one of you suffering? Is any one of you going through hardship? Let him pray. Prayer is the key. Jesus Christ, he prayed. The apostles prayed. Abraham prayed. Hannah prayed. We call it divine encounter. So, my name My name My name If you want your level to change, it is through prayer. Monday to Saturday, 12 to 1 p.m. Peach Apple Facebook Live. All you need to do is search Peach Apple and meet Peach Apple International pastors and men and women of God. And there shall be a change of level because through prayer you can encounter God and there shall be a performance. It will be there.